What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive in a 1970 Ford Torino. This one here has a believe to be 351 under the hood with power steering, no power brakes. And of course, what I like to do here is take them down the road, point out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. Check out maplemotors.com for detailed pictures, financing, and shipping information. We're always getting something new up here at Maple Motors. Be sure to check every Monday. We get about 10 cars every Monday listed to the website. We do run through about 60 cars a month. With that being said, we ship all over the US. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior, kind of check everything out. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works? A game we like to play on the channel here. Looking around on the interior, it's nice and clean. Looks great. Coming across the dash, all shiny. Get around this interior. Package tray's a little sunburned. Back seat looks pretty good. Your headliner's in great shape. A little, needs to be stretched out a little bit here. See a little bit of sagging going on there. Definitely see that somebody has replaced it. Got aftermarket gauges right here under the dash. Let's go ahead and start it up. Show you the mileage, hard to stand behind that. With a 1970 model, have wipers. Working fast. Horn, did you place your bets? Because they work. A little messed up there though. Both sides work. Radio. don't think that's gonna work gauges battery gauge is not working tip gauge is up okay turn signals that blinker there is not flashing on this side what about the other side no that kind of feels messed up there I don't think it's working it's just bouncing around all right let's go ahead and hit the road and we'll see how she runs and drives Got my seatbelt. We're getting ready to hit the road. Anything that I see, I will let you know. Gas gauge is dead on empty, so we're gonna go get gas. Uh, and then explain why half the car, or all the cars almost are on empty. Usually when they ship cars here, uh, the transport trucks like to take the gas out. They can't really load them over a quarter tank. So that explains a lot, right? <laughs> Anything I see, I'll let you know. Coming out of the lot here. Steering's nice and tight. As soon as I turn, it turns. And it's going really straight down the road. Speedometer's coming up, seems to be right. Man, she's got some power. Kick down, hooked up. Brakes, they feel pretty good. Not too bad at all. So far, so good. We're gonna get up to the gas station here and Check the gas gauge. Cause it's dead on E. Suspension already feels smooth going over the bumps on the bridge here. We'll check these turn signals on the outside to make sure they're not just dead bulbs in here. We're gonna be doing that right after this. I'm gonna be getting some undercarriage shots and uh, towards the end of the video, we'll do a picking out the flaws segment where I'm looking for chips, scratches, rust, anything I can find. All right, let's get some fuel. Okay, I just put about $30 worth of gas in this one. I do believe that gas gauge is gonna work. That's gonna be my guess. I don't know for sure, I haven't checked it yet, but 
you put it in right here in the back. Let's see what we got going on here. Gas cage is right here. It's not moving. I would have bet that worked. If anything changes, I'll let you know. Okay, so far so good, let's rock and roll. So before I went over uh, the camera to do the undercarriage shots, I tried to mess with the turn signals i don't know if they blinked or not because it doesn't stay there i can't get out and look i have to hold it there so be sure to check that before i roll over and after i pass over the camera
brakes. Stop it plenty fast. Suspension on this one is nice and smooth. Everything feels pretty good. So we're getting ready to be back at the lot. What we're gonna do there is the walk around, point out chips, scratches, flaws. Anything I see on the paint job, we'll check out the interior in detail. I'm gonna be looking for rust, bondo, whatever there is, that way you know what you're getting. Be sure to look at them detailed pictures at maplemotors.com and uh, don't forget to subscribe. That helps me out quite a bit. All right, guys, we made it back. I'll see you here in just a moment. Okay guys, it's that portion of the video where we walk around, point out chips, scratches, flaws, anything that I can find. That way you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. Be sure to visit maplemotors.com. Look at all the detailed pictures, the financing and shipping options that we provide. And every Monday I update with new cars. So check on Monday around 11. If you wait, you know how it goes. Things go on hold, things get sold. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna go down the lower portion first, looking for any kind of issues. Here we go. Coming up around the front. The front bumper here has got pitting around the edges. See a little bit of paint chips going around on the grill here. Coming down the lower portion here on the passenger side. Got a little spot here. Some dirt on the test drive, didn't we? Got a little spot popping up right there. Up and over. Here on the back, picked up some more dirt, didn't we? Back that mid section. A little bit of pitting on some of your chrome and your door handle here it's got a lot of pitting stripe looks pretty good and back over little paint run there in the corner up and over you got some blemishes here off there of some dirt the pitting on your antenna looking over your front windshield it's in pretty good shape looking for chips and scratches and it looks pretty clean so same with your mirror it's in good shape this trim piece right here has got a lot of pitting on it see it all the way around the window windows themselves are in good shape back over the roof line here Got a couple little spots popping up right there. Zooming out. Looks smooth, nice and clean, even down in those jams. And on that back half, it looks great. Back window on this one. Pretty clean. Same with the trim. Get my shadow out of here. Coming around on the back. The seal back here looks great. 
fixed seal, jams clean. All the way around, solid. The trunk on this one, got the spare tire. Let's go ahead and pull some of the stuff. Man, there's a lot of carpet in here, isn't there? I'm making a mess again. <laughs> Let's just throw that out. There's a little moisture back here, you see that? Somebody did a lot of carpeting. Got some putty there. Spot there. Panel looks pretty good though. Older gas tank. Pretty good back here. Up in your package tray, solid, clean. Pull this over, throw some more stuff out of here. Oh, we can't have a brake light without that. Get up under here, not too bad. Sweet. Okay. Kind of just want to leave that stuff out. It doesn't look good to me. <laughs> Where do I put the keys? Got them in my pocket. Shut the trunk down. Shut's pretty easy. Little spot there. A little high on this side. It's not perfect back portion there you got a little bit of pitting on your rear bumper it's nothing major it's overall pretty clean looks like they just put some strap on tips here yeah i said it <laughs> and they got a little rust on <laughs> all right coming down this portion lower portion first back to midsection tires on this one are in great shape aftermarket rev wheels up and over Coming on down. Pretty solid car here. Back to midsection. It's flowing. This, this thing's clean and smooth. Very little flaws. A little bit of pitting on your chrome here. Back over this top section. Back window on this one's got a few little scratches on this side. Light stuff. Pitting. Door handle's got a little bit of pitting as well. Up here as well on the mirror. Down the fender. Back up the front windshield. Over the roof. Not too bad. All right, let's go ahead and check out the interior, get her started up. Door panel on this one's not too bad. Looks pretty good. A little bit of pitting down there in that trim. A little hazy in the corner there. Weather stripping around the door doesn't look bad, solid. Bottom of the door is clean. Jams. 
not too bad seal looks good here seal up here is fairly new in good shape uh mat down there is wet so the car does leak in the rain at least on this side it does looking around on the interior back seat's pretty good package tray's not too bad headliner needs to be stretched a little bit but it's new coming across your dash here it's got a few little flaws I've seen some cracks down in the back there. Let's try the blower motor on this one. Switch is sticky. There we go. I don't think blower motor's working. Got it on heat, got it all the way up. Don't feel anything. The seat on this one's in pretty good shape too. It's not all tore up. Under the hood. may have a little bit of an exhaust leak on the driver's side here. On those gaskets. hit subscribe share hit like i'll keep these videos coming your way i do this all the time for you uh trying to keep it up to date make sure i don't miss anything that way you know everything about these cars with that being said i do need your help by hitting subscribe sharing and hitting like visit maplemotors.com to see all the new cars every monday we have financing we have shipping available for you i do appreciate you watching thanks again